Hey, is that folk music that you play there? What is that? How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Studs Terkel who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, I never heard, heard no horse. <laughs> sing none of it. My name is Ralph Litwin and those of you watching on your TV may be saying to yourself, those voices sound so familiar. And it might be because you heard them in the movie, Oh Brother Where Art Thou? Where they sang, I'll Fly Away. That's right. They also yeah. played at the first, the very first Newport Folk Festival and in the first production of Woody Guthrie's Bound for Glory, the Kasoy sisters, Irene, Ellen. Ellen. <laughs> They're twins. I Irene <laughs> and Ellen. Nice to have you on the show. Well, thanks. thanks. It's fun to be here. So tell us about the song you just sang. Is, what's the tradition behind that? It's a Southern Mountain song. And um, uh, I can't even remember where we learned it. We, I think we first heard this it sung by Harry and Jeannie West, who used to live in New York. And I think they were from, were they from West Virginia? I don't even remember where sure. they were from, but we, we knew, knew them in New York. <laughs> <laughs> so so um, you're stopping through New Jersey on your way to play at a folk festival in Pennsylvania. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And we just happened to be lucky enough to schedule you in on your route. That's right. Yeah. So welcome and thanks for coming to share your music. Oh, well, well, yeah, it's fun. What else would you like to share with us? Um, let's see. You want to do a uh, boil and snap? Sure. I have to okay. retune a little bit, though. We'll do another Southern Mountain song. This one is called Poor Ellen Smith. And in the old days, um, news got around by uh, word of mouth, mostly. And um, a lot of people didn't read the Southern Mountains. And um, 
So people would make up songs and about current events. And um, just like today, people love to hear about murders and stuff like that. And uh, so this is a murder ballad uh, uh, called... For some reason, they're always, they always seem to have cheery tunes. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> But um, people love the little gory details, and um, this one, it's a little unclear whether he actually was the murderer or not. And anyway, it's called Poor Ellen Smith. cheery though, isn't yeah. it? A good cheery tune. <laughs> yeah. It's a good one. I don't think yeah. I've never heard that one before. That was on our original CD which we recorded, well no. it was a, wasn't a CD, <coughs> it was a vinyl record which we recorded in 1956. Um, we were still in high school and uh, <coughs> that and a whole bunch of murder ballads were on it and, um, <laughs> and also I'll Fly Away. And, um, it never real, we never really thought about how many murder ballads were on this thing or, or how cheerful they all were <laughs> until um, the record was re reissued as a CD in 1997. And uh, the guy who wrote the liner notes was talking about all the bright and cheery songs, you know, <laughs> that, that had the goriest words to them. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, that's... Um, we did a whole bunch of murder ballads on that yeah. CD. On Sounds that like something some teenage girls would do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's something, I guess, that just appeals to everybody. I mean, it's, it's a, a subject that's fascinating. I don't know, I should, shouldn't say appealing, but certainly fascinating. <laughs> yep. 
So how did you girls first get interested in music? We've always sung ever since we were old enough to talk. And um, I think our mother and sister used to sing together a lot. Our mother and her sister. Our mm -hmm. mother and her sister, yeah. And uh, I guess we used to hear them singing all the time and we'd sing with them. And uh, they sang, they didn't sing traditional songs, they did mostly um, songs from the 20s and 30s and a lot of music hall songs. And um, so we started singing along with them and, and I guess we were about eight years old when we discovered that we could figure out how to harmonize them. Mm -hmm. And we were so excited we just couldn't, <laughs> we were singing everything we could come <laughs> across. <laughs> so um, I guess we were about 15 before we finally started hearing traditional music and it just fit so well with the kind of singing that we were doing that we really got into it. Cool. Well, your voices do blend beautifully. Yeah, I guess it's that, uh, that twinship thing. <laughs> <laughs> similar DNA. Yes. <laughs> so what else would you like to play for us? Um, well, we've also written some songs and um, we thought we would do a couple of those tonight. Right. One of them is, um, oh yeah, you have to retune for this one. I'll, I'll talk while you tune. Okay. Um, our mother lived in a retirement community in Florida. She was in her, probably close to 89 at the time. And um, she told us one day on the phone that she had met this man who she really liked there. And they were, got to be really good friends and turned out that Sam was 102 years old. <laughs> And uh, it was just really funny. I mean, we, we just enjoyed it and um, realized that I guess you're just never too old to, I mean, I don't know that they were romantically interested in each other, but still, I mean, just the fact that she kind of had this new man in her life. <laughs> <laughs> and so this song is kind of about that. It's called An Old Love Song. And um, unfortunately, neither of them lived to hear it, but um, mother is probably which she would probably be either clicking her tongue or you know or either that or she'd find it funny we're not sure which <laughs> <laughs> they're listening in that great music hall in the sky that's, that's right, right. <laughs> and it goes like this got any room too mm -hmm. we're sitting on a park bench weather is finely dry feeding pigeons and squirrels as the world shopping cart and coupons and we'll go without fail. Your eyes, they really sparkle when you find these things on sale. Oh, your milky eyes send me into ecstasy. And your double chins, they wiggle so seductively. On your liver spots I'll nibble and I'll try not to dribble, but my teeth are not Take you by the wrist. The early bird special is too good to resist. I'll hold my glass of prune juice high and drink a little toast to my pretty little blue haired gal, the one I love the most. After dinner, Thank you. 
folks how they can get in touch with you through email. Okay. And that's, if I can read it on the screen, you know, you'll have yep. to tell me. Kosoisis, K-O-S-S-O-Y-S-I-S, at earthlink.net. And your website is www.kosoisisters.com. That's right. That's correct. And that will scroll at the end of the program before the credits. Good. Okay. Is there anything you'd like people to know about? Well, we have, uh, besides this original um, recording that we made, which is on a CD, uh, we also have a newer CD. It took us about 44 years to get around <laughs> to doing a second one. <laughs> but we did that a couple of years ago, and that's also available through our website. Mm -hmm. And the song that we just sang is on it, the old love song. And we, we wrote another song, I guess more recently, so this one we wrote after we had recorded mm -hmm. the so this CD. So this one hasn't been recorded yet. But um, we live in Somerville, Massachusetts, and um, it's uh, kind of like considered sort of the poor man's Cambridge, Massachusetts, because <laughs> it's right next to Cambridge and it's where people in, uh, ha always moved when they couldn't afford to live in Cambridge, although that's, that's changing somewhat now as it's getting a little more upscale. But anyway, every week we like to buy the Somerville Journal and see what's happening in the town, and um, especially turn to the police blotter, because every <laughs> once in a while there'll be something on it that's but just totally outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this was one article that really caught our fancy, and uh, we decided we had to write a song about it. And we did take some liberties with it, so it's not quite, the song is not quite the way things happen. I mean, there are a few things that are a little different, but. Poetic license. It. Poetic <laughs> license, yes. Yeah. But the, the situation is basically what you hear in the song. So um, okay, let's see, let's find a good key to it. A little higher. That's going to be too high here. OK. okay. Twas in the town of Somerville, a town you all know well. In the state of Massachusetts, the truth to you I'll tell. It's of a poor young woman on a day with sleet and snow. She went to the market basket, a shopping for to go. She got herself a shopping cart and went to aisle three. She filled her cart with coffee, non-dairy creamer and tea. Pizzas, waffles, and ice cream she found at aisle four. Then she went to aisle five and filled her cart with more. Cheerios and Wheaties from a high shelf she did pull. She got a few more items and then her cart was full. She wheeled the car to the front of the store and got in the checkout line. She was in such a hurry that she didn't read the sign. The checkout lady said to her, you can't have more than nine. You see, this is the express lane. Please go to another line. That poor young woman did protest. The lines, they are so long. I'm really in a hurry, and I must be getting home. The checkout lady shrugged and said, I'm afraid that will not do. The other people in this line 
are in a hurry too. I will not move, the woman vowed. I've waited long enough. She flew into a murderous rage and started throwing stuff. She grabbed the non-dairy creamer and whopped her in the head. She hit her with hard candies and swung a loaf of bread. The other people in the line, they tried to calm her down. But she was having none of it. She was too tightly wound. From down the line, a can of Spam went sailing through the air. Some olive oil hit the floor and splattered everywhere. Another shopper in the store flung a frozen lemon pie. The checkout girl didn't duck in time and it hit her in the eye. A woman screamed, you animals, you should be on a farm. Just as a flying chicken came and hit her on the arm. The manager stood still in shock, covered in cottage cheese. He wiped his hands and face, and then he dialed the police. The police cars roared down Somerville Ave, their sirens blaring loud. The officers rushed in the store and tried to calm the crowd. The woman who began it all was cuffed and carted away. Assault with a deadly weapon she was charged with on that day. So come all ye fair young ladies, when you're shopping, take the time to count up all your items before you get in line. Remember this poor woman who inspired this woeful tale for creaming of a checkout girl. She languishes in jail. Yay! <laughs> True story. True story, except it's really 12 items you're allowed to have. <laughs> <laughs> but it didn't rhyme. Nine rhymed better, so. 12 is a difficult <laughs> rhyme. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but we understand the situation yes. well. <laughs> yeah, I think it's something everyone can relate to. <laughs> uh, everybody hasn't witnessed such a melee, though. No, no but everybody's <laughs> felt like it. Good. That's yeah. great. That, I should mention, is the song that you did at uh, the Northeast Regional Folk Alliance right. Uh, right. Yeah. convention where Sandy and I saw you and we That's said, right. we have to have these ladies <laughs> come to the studio and do that song. <laughs> Wonderfully done. Well, thank you. So we have about four and a half minutes to fill up before we have to say goodbye to okay. you. Okay. So we want to thank well. you for coming to share your music and time has flown because we were having fun. Yes. It has. Shall we do our little jam session number? Sure. Sure. Sounds good. Let's see. Do you have to tune? Um, yes you do. Yeah I do. We can give right. you hopefully we won't spend the four minutes Tuning, we can give your email address again once while the uh, tuning is taking place. The address is kasoisis at earthlink.net. Earthlink That's it. K-O-S-S-O-Y-S-I-S -S -S at mm -hmm. earthlink.net. Do you want to play harmonica on this? Yeah, That'd be great. Thank you. Okay. This is called Little Birdie, and this one was also on that original recording that we did, also a Southern Mountain tune. One, two, three. 